Don't you hate that feeling when you say something sarcastic to someone and then they ask you what you said and then just like never mind because you don't want to repeat it in that same sarcastic voice? Oh my god, it just happened to me. It just bugs me. It's just like you really just don't want to take the time to say never mind or you really just want to like, you're just like, uh, like just don't. Oh my god, now I have to say it again. And it's not going to sound the same. And then you, like, you sound, like, rude, kind of, too. Okay, I probably shouldn't be talking sarcastic to people. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, it bugs the crow out of me. Okay, so I'm going to do another vlog because um, I really want to start doing more of these where I talk about my cancer and stuff. Because this channel is not a strictly beauty channel. It's whatever I want. Um, I never really liked to call it a beauty channel because it was supposed to be a, where I do a mixture of cancer and beauty. And my channel is not just beauty. It's for whatever I want. Like if I want to upload a random video, I'll upload a random video. Or it was supposed to be, like I said, for cancer. So I like doing these vlogs because you never really know when they're going to pop up. And when you see my beauty, beauty videos, you guys don't really know what's going on in my cancer world and not everything that happens goes on my angels fatalia which is uh, my facebook fan page but it's for my cancer it doesn't have to do anything with youtube really because i don't really update things about youtube on there so um i want to start doing more of these and um i have a video another vlog to upload that's supposed to be before this but it's on my dad's computer and I'm currently with my mom and I'll be with my mom for the next few days that I just didn't, I can't upload it. But I'm, I am I want to still upload it because I said some really important things and I don't really film my, like I try not to film my videos over and over because I, I don't say things as naturally as they come and I think sometimes I say funny things and they come such in a natural way because I'm such a naturally funny person um, that they just, poof, they come naturally and it's cool, sounds cool. I'm just, yeah, okay. So I want to talk about um, my chemo that I'm going to be getting and um, some of you that have had relatives or if you have done it, like if you have cancer, you might have heard of it, but it's a pretty um, straightforward thing. It's called ICE and it ha it's I believe it's three types of chemos and it's a pretty tough chemo. It's a very high dose chemo from my understanding. This is from my understanding. This is not like real knowledge up in the brain like I like to think it is. Most of the time it is, but if I'm wrong, <laughs> Uh, that's just because I'm, I, yeah. Uh, okay, so it's a mixture of three different types of chemos, and basically it's just really tough on you, and it wipes out all your um, cells. Whoa, eyes spacing. Like all your blood counts, uh, your counts, sorry. Oh, my jeez. It knocks out, it wipes out your counts. So, like, your platelets, your hemoglobin, all of that goes down. You become neutropenic. Um, and then, also, after I do that, which is going to be Monday and is Wednesday, and I'm flying to, I'm going back home tomorrow morning and staying there till Sunday night and then coming back here Monday morning. And, sorry, that was my Facebook. And um, we're going to start chemo. That's when all this is taking place. And it is... 8-1-2012, so yeah. I, sh I think I should say my dates in my vlogs because it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening there. And then, oh yeah, after, I think before or after I'm getting a stem cell rescue, which basically um, about four years ago, I think it was four years ago, I got a stem cell transplant. And basically, where they, uh, I have a double phoresis Fourier catheter, and they collect my stem cells, and then they harvest them, which they basically just feed them in this special freezer, and then they give me a high dose chemo, and then they give me a few of my stem cells back. Now your stem cells hold a bunch of these um, really cool blood cells that help you and they basically regenerate your body when you get all of those stem cells back in we're talking like a million at a time you know what i mean so we're probably going to do a stem cell rescue 
just meaning they're, I'm not going to do the transplant. I'm going to do just getting a pack of stem cells, which are my own that I harvest, like I said earlier. Um, so that's just going to help my immune system recomb because we feel like my immune system has been so beat up from chemos that it's not going to have the, the, it's not going to be enough and it's not going to really have the energy to recuperate my body on itself, by itself. So um, we're going to probably do a stem cell rescue and then we're going to do, after the ice, the MIBG therapy, which I mentioned in my video that I haven't put up, the vlog that I haven't put up yet. But basically, they give me a lot of this radioactive stuff and it targets the can cancer be hopefully eats the crap out of it and um and I become radioactive so I have to stay in a room all by myself and only a nurse comes in to you know do my poll and give me my medicine and all that and my mom and my parents well my parents have to stay behind a shield in the front of their room because they they can't be like near me because of the radioactive I'm radioactive and it's not good for you. And then um, I have to stay in bed for two or three days straight, which like stay in bed, like I'm going to be sealed in my bed, which sounds fun, but when you get there, you're just like, wow, this is so much fun. I'm getting chemo and I am getting, what, boringness. Like it's just not fun. So don't think it's fun or, yeah, I'm going to relax or whatever like that. I don't like when people think that, well, it's fun. It's going to be fun. All you're going to have to do is nothing. Exactly. It's so boring in the hospital. Um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? So we're going to try to do that. We might do two cycles of MIBG just to see if it doesn't wipe all the cancer out. Um, and I'm just going to say it now because um, I don't know when I'm going to upload that other video or if it's uploaded. Maybe it's uploaded already. Wow. I'm going to call my dad and see if he can upload it for me. So it's probably already up then. Yeah, it's uploaded probably. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah. Um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. My cancer, it... <laughs> It sounded really weird there. Um, but my cancer has spreaded. Um, I got kicked off my old study, which was a different study at a different hospital. And it just was it was working perfectly. It was my counts, which, again, we're afraid of um, doing ice because of my counts won't recuperate, but we're doing it anyway. Anyway, um, my counts don't recuperate enough, so that chemo that I was on, I was just knocking out my counts too bad and they weren't coming up in order to reach the child's standards. So I got kicked off um, and then while we were evaluating to see what we're going to do next in that period of time where I was off the study and I had some free time, it was about two weeks, my cancer spreaded to in my bone marrow, which it has never been, which scares me. Um, I've always had it in soft tissue, which just means your skin, like I would have it in my abdomen and stuff, but I've never had it in my bone or in my bone marrow, and they found it in all four of my bones, and my two front hip bones and two like back hip, back bones, they found it there, um, and they found, I originally had one here to start with, um, and then I grew another one over here, and then this one got bigger, so... Over around my chest area is I have new spots, and then also on my left hip, there's a um, some cancer as well. So, um, yeah, but I I honestly don't want to sound weird right now, but I don't want to freak you guys out by that anyway. So I'm just gonna say what I really really want to say is don't think I'm gonna die. <laughs> I know it's it's weird to say, but it's 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 not that if my cancer if my cancer spreads, it's it's not that bad because originally my I mean it's horrible, but like yeah, so it's just it's 
just don't worry is what I'm trying to say. Like, don't think just because it's spread it, everything's like, I'm doing this vlog because, uh, like, it, no. No, I'm, I'm fine. Honestly, you guys are so amazing. And I really, truly think that you guys have gotten me this far. Like, you guys have just helped me. You guys are like, it's, it's so weird. Like, the people who message me, like, you guys count. Like, you guys are like, oh, like, I love you. My heart, like, my heart is, like, blowing up with the love and support that I get from you guys. You truly, truly are amazing. Oh, uh, you guys are so, like, I just can't live without you guys. I cannot live without YouTube. It's, it's, it's a fact, okay? Can we face it? Can we face my addiction to YouTube and making videos? Just stop. Uh. Yeah, like you guys, oh, like I'm just, I'm really grateful for you guys. And basically, I do think you guys have impacted greatly, greatly on my life. And I hope to do amazing things for YouTube. And um, in general, I want to do amazing things with makeup and amazing things with young, beautiful girls and well, basically, yeah, young and beautiful girls who are bald and who feel insecure about themselves and want to use a little bit of makeup to help them feel better. That is my dilemma on YouTube. So, see you guys later. Peace out.